Hi, I'm Lauren and we're here at Colorado State University's Laurie Student Center for E-Days where we're going to be able to see all of the senior design projects from the engineering department. E-Days consists of the senior design projects from all of Colorado State's students. So we get a lot of different engineering departments in here. We've got students with biomedical engineering projects, we've got mechanical engineering, we've got electrical and computer engineering, and a little bit of everything. And we might even see some SparkFun parts. This is old prosthetic, but if you pick it up, it's very heavy and hard for him to use. It requires several different steps for him just to like manipulate a terminal device or flex the elbow or rotate the wrist. So it really wasn't practical for him to use for simple tasks like eating. We endeavored to make a prosthetic device that would allow him to eat independently. We CAD designed all of the components so they can be customized and 3D printed for somebody who has you know, a similar limb deficiency and wants a similar prosthetic. All of our components were purchased from SparkFun, so we used the Arduino Mini microprocessor, the SparkFun Easy Driver motor driver, the micro servo, and then a stepper motor. And we wanted to make it easy for people to be able to order and wire this device up to be able to use at a low cost. Yeah, but we want to hear about your projects. Right now, the USDA has three primary means of distributing these vaccines to uh, the raccoons. This device is expected to be running, sitting on the lap of a helicopter pilot during use. So it's important that it's simple to operate because flying a helicopter is hard enough already. We have a simple uh, stepper motor over here controlling the auger. We have a laser counter, so like a laser sensor and a laser, coupled with a GPS module over here in Arduino. It plots the location coordinate wise, the altitude, your speed, and the actual count of the bait. Essentially what it does is once it identifies a cat in our like target zone, it will dispense a small amount of water to deter the cat. Because cats don't like water. We are just using the TensorFlow Lite sort of okay. base model. We've integrated a Coral USB accelerator to try to get a little bit more computational power out of our Raspberry Pi, but just running it off of the sort of standard TensorFlow Lite model. So our basic process is that we have a vacuum retainer containing uh, the insulin crystals and a pH test strip for quality control. The quality checks on the inside of the container, make sure that the pH is right so that it's safe to inject into the bloodstream, and that is the process for getting to the insulin. So this way you can just make insulin solution wherever you're at. So what kind of hardware are you guys using? Take us through that. So we have a stepper motor, stepper motor driver, ESP8266, and that is what controls and connects to the app. Um, other than that, we just have a simple belt system and then some 3D printed components that we made. That was a little taste of CSU's E-Days. It's really amazing to see all of the life-changing, world-changing things that these students are accomplishing, and we can't wait to see where all of their projects go in the future. Thanks CSU for having us, and we will hopefully see you next time.